Amy Elizabeth Adams, a remarkable figure in the field of zoology, made significant contributions as a professor at Mount Holyoke College. Born on March 28, 1892 in Delaware, New Jersey, Adams' journey into the realm of biology began with her studies at her alma mater, Mount Holyoke, and later at the esteemed University of Chicago. Here, she cultivated her passion for biology, earning bachelor's degrees in 1914 and 1916, paving her way towards a lifelong career in academia and research. Her academic pursuits did not end there. Adams went on to earn a master's degree from Columbia University in 1919 and solidified her expertise with a PhD. From Yale University in 1926, this impressive educational background laid the foundation for her pioneering work in experimental embryology and endocrinology. In 1930-1931, she further enriched her knowledge by studying at the University of Edinburgh, enhancing her theoretical and practical understanding of zoology and development. In 1919, Adams began what would become a vibrant career at Mount Holyoke College, a place where her intellect and dedication blossomed. By 1928, she had ascended to the esteemed position of full professor, a notable achievement reflecting her exceptional contributions and dedication. Throughout her career, Adams taught embryology and genetics, skillfully guiding her students through the complexities of the reproductive systems. Her research was pioneering, shedding light on subjects that were still in their infancy at that time, particularly concerning the reproductive systems of various species. Adams faced numerous challenges, especially being a woman in science during an era when women's contributions were often overlooked. However, she navigated these barriers with grace and determination, securing funding from various organizations. When it was uncommon for women or women's colleges to do so, especially during the Great Depression, this perseverance not only allowed her to conduct her research, but also set a precedent for future generations of female scientists. After a fulfilling career spanning nearly four decades, Adams retired in 1957. She passed away on February 15, 1962 in South Hadley, Massachusetts, leaving behind a legacy of inquiry and inspiration. Her dedication to the field of zoology transformed the academic landscape and inspired countless students to pursue careers in science. Today, Amy Elizabeth Adams is remembered not only for her scientific achievements, but also for her role in breaking down barriers for women in science, paving the way for future generations to follow in her footsteps.